This week, we are giving away a mesh gray packing cube. It's a little backwards. We'll cover more on that. And it holds not one, not two, not even three, but four squirrels. So stick around to the end of the episode to figure out how you can win this mesh packing cube. Family of right squirrels here. not yeah, family of necessarily squirrels not included. included. Yeah, no. All right, CT. So what what we have happened last week? Well, first off, I'm oh, CT. I'm Dean. Welcome to the Blue Ridge Bonfire. Uh, that is Sasquatch. That is Hunter. And I have no idea. Julio and Jessica, I believe. Jessica, I guess. So last week we released a walk around of Adventure Dad Wagon and his Subaru. I've never seen that many LED lights <laughs> on any car, let alone maybe a Subaru. So yeah, definitely, to, yeah, definitely check that out. No, he's got he's got a lot of cool customizations. And then uh, mesh packing cubes. To tell yeah, people about those. All right. So mesh packing cubes, right? Everybody loves them. Uh, we little slight oopsie, uh, similar to what happened with the first aid kits. The front panel ended up on the back. The back panel ended up on the front. So basically, instead of the mesh being on the lid that opens up, the back panel is on the lid. Still great, still typical Blue Ridge Overland gear uh, quality as far as the fabric and the sewing. Gray mesh packing cubes, $5 off while supplies last. If you want to get in on that, link down below. Oh. And then the Garmin Overlander. If you guys want to get one, you still have like, I think 20 days. 20 Just days. Till the end of the month. May 30, the purchase must be made before May 31st. Um, and now a quick update on the travels that our buddy, this, we, is that, this is Sasquatch over here, that he has made this week. So first off, he traveled down to Fort Gordon, Georgia with at Raven S117. Then he scurried north uh, with uh, at Gobi Recon uh, to the beach at Cape Lookout National Seashore in North Carolina. Lucky squirrel. Very lucky well, squirrel. And then he wasn't done there. He also traveled with Tim Sparrow to Short Mountain Wildlife Management Area in West Virginia. Very beautiful. Area. Getting around yeah. this week, let me tell you. Uh, but before reaching his final destination, which was Temperance River State Park in Minnesota with at PK Raymer 1982. He's been busy. So thank you guys. Hope you guys had fun on your adventures. Thank you for taking this guy along. He is checking off as many states as he can. This guy is trying to visit all 50 states in 2021. I will put up, I'll count them up and I'll put up the total yeah. number here There's that he's now he at. Been to yet. And this is how many are left, all right? If you want to get in on this action, all you got to do to prove that he was with you, take a picture of the patch or the t-shirt and hashtag at Sasquatch was here. And Canadians, you can play too, even though you don't call them states. We'll let them sneak across the border. <laughs> so feel free to play along for our Canadian friends. He's already made it down yeah, to, to, to Mexico. Mexico so. so my favorite part of the show, event news. This weekend, super duper busy. A uh, big iron overlane rally in West Mineral, Kansas. Um, I will be heading out for that. I'm actually leaving tomorrow because it's like, I don't know, a thousand mile drive. So road trip, Squatch and I are going on a road trip. Gonna be fun. Also this weekend on Saturday is the Nova Jeeper Show and Shine. That is Northern Virginian, uh, for those of you who don't speak Virginian. Uh, that's gonna be Saturday, May 15th in Warrington, Virginia. Also this weekend on Sunday is the New Jersey Overland Flea Market and Meetup. Uh, that is gonna be in Brunswick, New Jersey. Um, I've been to that event. I've also ran with the Nova Jeeper crowd when I used to live in Northern Virginia. Um, so both are great fun organizations, great social meet and greet type thing. A lot of people are getting anxious to get out there. Weather's going to be nice. Um, so definitely worth looking into. And then the Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival is coming up June 11th, 13th in Butler, Butler, blah, 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 Butler, PA. Yeah. Okay. Birth, That's where birth, it's happening. Birthplace of the Jeep, by the way. Um, wow, I did not know that. Yeah, Bantam Reconnaissance car was the original prototype Jeep developed in Butler, Pennsylvania by the Bantam car company. Yeah. Mind blown. Uh, new event um, on... <laughs> Saturday, June 12th, uh, Virginia Four-Wheel Drive Association is doing a trail cleanup on Bald Mountain Jeep Trail near Staunton, Virginia. Um, new Horizons Overland and I... Uh, did this along with Ted from OEX. That's actually one of the places I met Ted. Um, did that uh, a couple years ago. Um, it was normally on Earth Day. It's been was postponed this year due to uh, the whole COVID thing. And then the Adventure Van Expo is coming up June 19th to 20th in Mount Hood, Oregon. 
And then the Outside Adventure Expo, June 25th to the 27th in Salt Lake City, Utah. That is put on by the same people that do Overland Expo. This is geared more towards the uh, outdoor sports people. So rock climbers, mountain bikers, some van life type people. And then Brews and Roos. Roos uh, referring yeah. to Subarus. And Brews, Brews and Subarus. to beer. July 10th at Garage Brewery in Chesapeake, Virginia. This is just a meet and greet. Yeah. If you have a Subaru or if you don't, you just park down the block and come in and pretend that you do. Uh, another new event, the Northeast Overland Rally, September 16th to the 19th in uh, Pottsville, PA. This is going to be at the uh, Redding off-road area. I don't have very many details or don't know a whole lot about that event. Um, so if you've been to this in the past or you plan on going this year, please drop some comments down below with more information. And then the Rooftop Tent Rally. Save the date, y'all. It is uh, Rooftop Tent Rally is going to be October 15th to the 17th. Uh, registration is going to be Monday, August 2nd. So we will have more details as to how many tickets and how we're doing registration by then. And now my favorite part of the show where we get to read your comments. Last week we asked you, what would go on your Overland charcuterie board? And only one person sent a photo, by the way. <laughs> like, major disappointment. Like, I mean, like... It would have made you too hungry, it, Dean. It would have. James Blake on YouTube said, my charcuterie layout is just mounds of bacon. Only bacon because bacon is life. Wait, wait. I worry what you just heard was, give me a lot of bacon and eggs. What I said was, Give me all the bacon and eggs you have. No. Uh, Ron Swanson would be proud. Yeah, that is salute. There. At Pork Chop Express on Instagram said, I would put anything that Family Adventures Overlanding cooks in on their scottle on the board. No disagreement there. Also, smoked venison wrapped in bacon with barbecue sauce to dip pepper jack chunks. Only the finest Aldi's crackers and bacon strips cooked in maple syrup and Fiji apple slices. Uh, wow yeah. that made me hungry mm -hmm. john s on youtube said i'll i'd go ham turkey an assortment of yummy cheeses all sliced to fit triscuits think adult lunchables also summer sausage and deer elk with creek cheese some fresh bison jerky also grapes and blackberries creek cheese i'm, I'm not familiar with Creek cheese. Is it just made with swampy water? I don't know. I don't know. At Jason B. Holler on Instagram said, whatever you want, but not an authentic charcuterie board without Stilton. Oh, a winky, hey, winky face. face. I remember you. You're like all fancy pants over there. What? No Stilton? <laughs> mm. I absolutely cannot attend a party without Stilton. We're going to have some Stilton. Uh, at Humming Along on Instagram said, well, I don't do that fancy schmancy stuff. I would just make some Jägermeister marinade grilled thick cut bacon. <laughs> what more do you need than Mother's Nature's meat candy and Jäger? Well, maybe some roasted oysters too if they are in season. Again, with the bacon, don't disagree. Dude, I yeah. love this. Catherine E. Blake on Instagram said, so if we win the board, are we obligated to serve it to y'all at Rooftop Tent Rally? Question mark. My best board, I, I think the answer to that is yes. Uh, well, we got to see what's on the board first. Okay, like, let's, yes. let's see what's on it, and then... Before we agree to yeah, eat it, okay. Right, uh, we'll... It would have salami, mm -hmm. okay, okay, pepperoni, mm -hmm. prosciutto. Pr prosciutto, aged... Parmesan. Parmesan, brie with fig jam, Oscar's Smokehouse aged cheddar, mm -hmm. a f super funky blue cheese. <laughs> Is there anything other than funky blue cheese? Uh, all right. Honey dried fruit, fresh grapes, green and black olives, almonds and walnuts, and a bunch of different crackers and baby toast. Also, there should be a s'mores cook-off at Rooftop Tent Rally. Just a new idea. Dude, this person's on it. So first of all, bribery attempt noted. Uh, yes, if you win the charcuterie <laughs> board, even if you don't win the charcuterie board, you are obligated to serve said charcuterie spread at the rooftop there early. Also, we are totally putting in a s'more cooking contest, I think. <laughs> Overlanding Adventure Guy on YouTube said charcuterie board would be number one, goat cheese drizzled with raw honey. Never had this before. Mm. Dates, fresh figs, and roasted almonds. Number two, 
seedless grapes, blueberries, raspberries, sliced honey, crisp apples, garlic stuffed olives. What? Garlic stuffed olive. Mm. Kalamata olives and manzilla olives. Manzala, manzanilla olives. Okay, okay. Three camembert ke Swiss, camembert Swiss English cheddar. Midnight Moon, Provolone, Hard Parmesan, Appalachian Tomei. Four, Fresh champ Champagne Loaf, Sliced, uh, Fresh Salted Cultured Butter, Assortment of Crackers. Five, Hard Salami, Cal Calabrese Salami, Prosciutto, Summer Sausage, Capicola. Capicola Ham, Black Pepper, Brown Sugar, Bacon. Wow. I don't know if that counts as a charcuterie board or just like a like seven just a court, feast. Like, yeah, like a feast. Like a Thomas Wright on YouTube said, if I win the awesome one of a kind cutting board, I would serve an amazing charcuterie consisting of bacon, 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 bacon. This is going on. Bacon, 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 bacon. Bacon, bacon, dot, dot, dot. Ellipsis, yeah, I mean, it, it goes on for a while. Joshua Banks on Facebook said, Vienna sausage and crackers. I believe Bro. the actual pronunciation is Vienna. You had, you had to be at uh, Smoky Mountain Overland Rally to, to get this. Okay. Oh, and we have one more uh, that we need to read. This was DM'd to us. Uh, charcuterie served at 9,860 feet in the Eastern Sierras. A rack of lamb, Humboldt, frog, goat, blue cheese, Old Amsterdam, five-year-old Gouda, Point Reyes, Toma, olives, dried fruit, truffle mousse served with fancy crackers, and uh, brisola. Almost forgot the corn chinos. And he sent a picture. Um, so yes, the only person to send a picture of their charcuterie board in the DMs. <laughs> so we have no shame. I'm not going to lie. Uh, bribery works. So Catherine E. Blake on Instagram, you win the cutting board, but with one condition. You must follow through and you must serve us said charcuterie board. This is how it works, people. Bribery is a real thing. <laughs> CT likes to be all altruistic and say no and everything's chosen as random, which is true. When most, nobody, when nobody, most of the time they are actually yeah, chosen at random. Mainly because nobody's bribed us that week. So if nobody <laughs> bribes us, then yeah, we resort to randomness and the squirrels get to choose. But since somebody bribed us this week and made us an offer we couldn't necessarily All right, turn congratulations, down. you but, get the cutting board. Catherine E. Blake, you get the cutting board. We'll see you at the rooftop tent rally. Better better bring a spread. And now, the packing cube. These are amazing. I use mine for my air pump. It keeps the, the hose and the, uh, and the cord and everything contained. It's awesome. Lots of uses. Um, the only thing wrong with these is the front's the back, the back is the front. So in the mesh, instead of being on the lid, it's the other way around. But otherwise, typical Barag But you get it for free, though. And you're getting it for free, so don't complain. Um, but to win this, CT, what do they need to do to win this? All right, so, right so Big Iron Overland Rally is right around the corner. That's coming up this weekend. So what we want to know is what is the horsepower of Big Brutus? How, Big much, Brutus. how much does that thing put out? Mm -hmm. Uh, all correct answers will be entered to win the packing cube next week. Leave them in a comment down below. DM us. Email us, bonfireblueadrivelinggear.com. Send a carrier pigeon. You know, all smoke signals. Yeah. Also good. That's all I got this week. Uh, no video on Thursday. Sorry to disappoint. We will have a new trailer up on the YouTube channel, though. So that's something to look forward to. But the reason being is we are putting a lot of effort into next week's video. CT's been working hard on it for almost a month already. Got another couple little things to spit and polish on it. It will come out next week. Very different. Something you probably have not seen before. Yes. So get excited. I'm CT. I'm Dean. This is Sasquatch. Uh, that's Hunter. That's Julio. That's Jessica. Jessica. We get will see you next week. Same broad time. Same broad channel.